1. You must be able to see the entire image at once, so begin your examination roughly two steps away from the film, or, for digital images, zoom out completely. 2. Check image quality. You must be able to see clearly the ribs, clavicles, D1 to T3 vertebra, pulmonary artery branches at least to the third distal division, the heart and mediastinum contours. You should not see clearly thoracic vertebra below T4 or any structures below the diaphragm. 3. Check patient positioning. On the frontal image you should see the last cervical vertebra at the top edge and both lateral diaphragmatic angles at the bottom. To verify rotation draw an imaginary line joining the spinous processes of the first three or four vertebras, the medial heads of the clavicles must be at equal distance from this line. On the lateral image you must see the pulmonary apex a few centimeters below the top edge of the film and the dorsal diaphragmatic angle above their bottom. For rotation look at the ventral margins of the scapulas, they must be parallel to each other and no more than one centimeter apart. 4. Thoracic wall soft tissue. Quick look at thickness, density and contours, left and right compared. You don't have to take precise measurements, a visual comparison will suffice. Don't forget about the breasts, you can't actually analyze their structure but you should check their position to avoid confusing them with pulmonary lesions. 5. Thoracic Skeleton Look mainly the ribs, clavicles and scapulas. Always left and right compared. You can take a moment to count the ribs, to check the respiratory phase or to help with lesion locations reporting. This is more important in trauma and pleural effusions cases. 6. Lungs Analyze by comparing left and right transparency of each area. Top to bottom or the other way around, doesn't matter as long as you don't miss any areas. Chose the way you like best and then stick to it, but never look up and down on the same side. 7. Pulmonary hilum and vessels. Thickness, continuity, distribution, hilum size, also bilaterally compared. A quick way to evaluate hilum size is by comparing it to a dorsal rib, they are about the same thickness, just make sure you're looking at the main artery, not some lobar branch. 8. Heart and mediastinum. Mainly contours and arches. Heart diameter's measurement is less relevant nowadays because the echocardiogram is far more accurate, but there are still some situations when you should measure the heart on plain film especially if the medical file does not mention any known heart diseases. You don't have to be very accurate, just make sure they're out of normal range so you can recommend a cardiology examination in your report. 9. Now get closer to detail your findings. Look at each lesion, memorize the details, then step back again and analyze any possible causality relations between them. 10. Now is the time to use the lateral image if have one. Frontal and lateral images must be analyzed side by side, not separately. Never try to analyze a lateral image alone, it's worthless without the corresponding frontal view. 11. Use clinical data to refine your diagnostic. Always look for the clinical diagnostic, clinical exam findings, patient history and any relevant test results. If the medical file is incomplete or unclear don't hesitate to call the physician for details. Always talk to the patient if possible. Visually inspect trauma and surgical patients by yourself, as skin marks can help you focus on key area. Remember. Always check the entire image. Don't hesitate to ask for a lateral view if you need it. Always check clinical data. When in doubt ask for a second opinion. Don't let your pride get you in trouble. Even specialists do this every now and then if they get the chance. As a resident or a student your main job is to learn, not to solve difficult cases by yourself.